civilization. Oh, one from anywhere. Oh, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Get. Oh, my gosh. What is he? That is a massive king snake. guys, welcome back to another video. Right now we are headed to the first snake, actually the second snake removal of the year. And I'm headed here to help this couple that were on the phone and said that they were scared stiff. So we're going to go there right now and hopefully remove that snake. And as always, we always appreciate the people that called for us to remove the snakes and not kill them. So props to those guys. And uh, yeah, I am going through AHA, the Arizona Herpetological Association. It's who I am going through right now to go remove these snakes. It's who I work for. I am blinded by the sun right now. What do you think it's gonna be? I think it's gonna be a down back. Yeah. I think that's what it's gonna be. I've already seen how many today? A lot? Eight. Eight diamondbacks just before this, so I'm gonna guess it's gonna be another one. <laughs> We have made it to the house. Oh, they're there right now. Let's go help them out. Hello. Hey there. You got a snake, huh? Yeah, two of you, huh? Yeah, two of us. You like snakes? Yeah. What are you going to do with it? Just release them far from any civilization. Oh, one from anywhere. Oh, yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. Victoria, come out and meet these people. Can we get the bucket? Oh my gosh! <laughs> what is he? That is a massive king snake. That is not what I expected. Oh, he's not dangerous. That is huge. Oh my gosh! So this right here. She's big. taking a photo. Get your get your camera. Won't hurt you. It's, it's a good snake. It's actually bleeding out of its cloaca. Yeah. It's got blood on my hands. They'll smear it all over themselves yeah. when predators come up to them, and they'll smell really bad. It's called musk. Oh. So he stinks really bad right now. And so the predator that's going to eat it will smell it and be like, Ugh. And these guys are constrictors, so if he were to catch a rattlesnake, he would grab it, and then he would get his coils, and he would wrap around the snake, constrict it super tight, and every single time the snake would exhale, he would squeeze tighter, yeah. not allowing him to inhale, and therefore he would suffocate. Oh, I like that kind. <laughs> <laughs> it smells so bad. Yep. Very stinky. Open, like, open them windows. Yeah, we gotta open the windows. It smells awful. The guy was really nice. He just moved back from Hawaii. He wasn't too familiar with snakes. He's from England, which is another place you won't see a lot of snakes. So, I can see why he was a little freaked out. But we got to educate him a little bit and whatnot. Take this snake out to the desert and release him. So yeah, let's go do that. Shaylee's sticking her head out the window because of the smell. She can't stand it. It's so disgusting. I wish you guys could experience this with us. Right, Shaylee? Yep. All right, guys. It is the next morning. It was a little bit later when I got home last night, and the filming would have been gross and disgusting. So I held on to this snake, and I actually have another snake. It's a night snake that my dad actually found in the yard while doing yard work. So I'm also going to relocate that. But, uh, yeah. I'm excited to show you this king snake a little more, pull it out and play with it a little bit uh, before releasing it. I'm going to get some photographs and whatnot, but I'm going to head out to the desert right now to uh, release them. Alright guys, so here's the snake my dad found in the yard. This is just a desert night snake. It's a small colubrid snake that is very common to find at houses. What he's doing right now is called coning when he does that spiral. It's a form of defense. Very harmless little snakes. I'll take care of the little bugs roaming around your yard or lizards and whatnot, but totally harmless snakes. They're just a small colubrid and uh, with a very, very mild venom to the point where I'd almost consider them non-venomous. I'm going to uh, put the snake down and release him right now. It's a very nice morning and I'm sure he will find his way just fine. This I'll let him find his way. So there you go. First snake was a desert night snake. 
All right, guys, before I release this absolutely gorgeous California king snake back into habitat, I have him really close to a pond, a water system, as these guys like to hang around any water system. This is a huge California king snake. This isn't typically what I see with these guys. Um, not that I didn't know that these guys could get this big. Um, I'm just not totally used to seeing them quite like this because even though you know a snake could get a certain length, it's not always the case that you'll see them this big in the wild. And as you can see, he's a little bit, uh, he's a little bit defensive right now. He's in a different way, not through trying to bite me, but just he's a little nervous. He's sticking his little head out and he's just balled up like this, trying to protect his head as I am seen as a predator. And he just wants to survive this encounter, uh, even though I'm not going to hurt this snake. So California king snakes are actually super beneficial. Um, people like to get them removed because snakes are scary. I get it, but the unknown is scary. And if you're not educated on snakes, I can totally understand why you would be afraid of them. And although rattlesnakes, for example, are venomous, they're not scary. They just deserve some respect. And if you respect them, they are not gonna bother you. And if you know the simple steps to knowing what you need to do when you approach a rattlesnake, that's what you need to do. You need to learn and you will never have an issue with them. And if you want us to post a video on how to approach a wild rattlesnake, many different species of rattlesnakes will do that. Comment down below if you are interested in a rattlesnake encounter steps. I'll approach tiger rattlesnakes, Mojave rattlesnakes, diamondback rattlesnakes, sidewinders, speckled rattlesnakes, whatever the heck you want to see so I can prove to you that they are not out to get you. Now I will say, if you pick up one of these snakes, I'm not going to say it's not going to bite you. In fact, I'm pretty confident it will. If you pick up this snake, it will defend itself. If you were being picked up by a big giant, if Big Burke came and picked you up by the collar and was holding you and like, dang, you're cool, would you try to bite and kick and fight? Exactly. Yes, you would. Admit it, you would. If you did not know who I was and I was some big dude the size of a skyscraper and I came and picked you up, you would want to bite and fight. Ducks just landed in the pond over there. Snakes are defensive, not aggressive. Defensive, not aggressive. Come on, say it. Defensive, not aggressive. So stop saying snakes are aggressive because they are really not. So the California king snake is a non-venomous colubrid snake endemic to the western United States and northern Mexico. This snake is found in a variety of habitats. It can be found in grasslands, golf fields for heaven's sakes, urban areas, high desert scrubs, you can even find them up in the pines uh, or higher elevations where you can find Arizona mountain king snakes. These guys will actually inhabit that same habitat. In the winter, these snakes will actually retreat underground and enter in hibernation-like state called brumation. So it's not a full hibernation, but they will definitely be way less active in the winter. And in fact, you may not even see these snakes during the winter. But if you get a hot, warm day, you might find these guys surfacing and coming out to bask. When these California king snakes feel threatened, they will actually ball up and hiss and actually open up that cloaca or, you know, <laughs> the little booty. And they will actually smear blood and a poo-like substance called musk that they will smear all over their bodies that smells horrendous. As you saw, Shaylee sticking her head out the window because the car smells so bad because he started smearing that disgusting musk, musky, musky, disgusting smell all over their body, which usually will discourage a predator when it is being attacked and will then leave the snake because it's like, bruh, you smell bad and we need to leave you alone. Nobody wants to eat a snake that smelly. These are really, really fascinating creatures, and I hope more people will come to appreciate these animals and many more animals that we will feature in, this, in these episodes um, because we just want to get you to feel the way I do, the way that Jeffrey does, and the way that all of us feel in these videos. Logan, Sam, all of us. Yeah, I, wa I want you to feel the excitement that we do and the appreciation that we do for these snakes when we come across them. I am in awe every single time I come across these creatures in any part of the world, Australia, Costa Rica, you name it. If I come across snakes or any reptiles or amphibians or any animal for that matter, I am in awe and appreciation and just fascinated by the creatures that roam our planet. And I hope that if you can learn and be educated by these snakes, that you can have not a fear, but a respect and a knowledge of these creatures so that you can stay, keep your safe distance and be confident that when you observe these creatures, you will know how to encounter them, how to avoid um, 
putting yourself at harm or putting the animal at harm so that we can all respect and appreciate these creatures. Yeah, let's let this snake go. I'm super excited to share the snake with you. Let's continue to have many, many more videos to come. Subscribe if you haven't already. Are you ready to go, buddy? I think you're pretty upset with me right now. He's, he's coning, you see that? He's coned up. He's, what he's trying to do is if he's flipped this way, his head is deep in these coils, so if I was a predator trying to get at him like this, I couldn't get him because his head is right there. There he goes, guys. Into the brush. Sweet. Alrighty, there goes Mr. King. Sweet. Bye, dude. See you later. But snake is finally released. He is sitting in those reeds over there. No, whatever you call those cat, I don't know. Some kind of water plant. Anyway, and if you did not know already, we have merchandise up on the site. So go check that out. And if you order in your merch, send us a picture of you wearing it on Instagram. My Instagram is JB underscore Martino. Um, you can check out our Instagrams in the description below. So go check that out right now. And if you have our merch, take a picture. Uh, tag us in that photo on Instagram and uh, we will share the photo of you wearing our merch So if you could do that, I mean we got t-shirts, uh, we got stickers, and we got all that cool stuff So anything you order off of the website um, uh, Yeah, tag us on Instagram and we'd love to tag you and thank you personally for your order So if you have done that or even if you've already done it Tag us on Instagram a photo of you wearing the merch and we would love to share it on our uh, next video So Thanks again so much for watching. Subscribe, and I hope you're looking forward to 2020 like I am. Uh, we have a lot of really cool videos and plans up ahead, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss on that. Miss out on that. Yes, I can't speak English. All right, peace out, guys.